Chapter 1. The Invitation Jake sat slumped on his worn-out couch, staring at the blinking cursor on his laptop screen. The message from Tom had just come through. Though the invitation itself wasn't surprising, the annual Halloween party always came with its own set of complications. Yo, Jake. Big party this year. Everyone's coming. You better show up with a killer costume, man. Jake sighed, running a hand through his messy brown hair. He loved Tom's parties. No doubt about that. The guy knew how to throw a bash. A ton of people. Loud music. Plenty of booze. Everything you'd want for a wild night. But the problem was, Tom took Halloween very seriously. Every year, the costumes got more elaborate. The competition for the best costume became more intense. Tom even offered prizes. Cash, booze, and sometimes even embarrassing dares for the losers. It was fun, sure, but Jake wasn't exactly bursting with creativity when it came to costumes. What the hell am I gonna wear? Jake muttered, staring at his phone as if it would magically provide the answer. He could recycle his costume from last year. He'd dressed up as a zombie, but it felt lazy now. Half the party had been dressed as zombies or vampires. Maybe I could go as a vampire this year, he thought, but then immediately dismissed it. Too cliché. He needed something that would stand out and maybe even win the costume contest. It wasn't about the prize. It was about the bragging rights. He hated losing, especially to Tom, who always went all out. Jake leaned back, staring at the ceiling, half listening to the hum of traffic outside his apartment. His phone buzzed again. He absentmindedly opened another message, this time from his friend. Mark. Dude, you going to Tom's party? I heard Lisa's gonna be there. She's single now, bro. You gotta make a moo? Jake groaned. Lisa? Huh? He'd had a thing for her for months. But she'd been dating some guy in Tom's circle up until a couple of weeks ago. The idea of seeing her at the party made his stomach flip. Great. Now I need to impress her too. He grabbed his laptop searching for costume ideas. After scrolling through pages of generic superhero and horror costumes, he groaned in frustration. Nothing stood out. He needed something unique, something that would make people stop and stare. Finally, finally, after what felt like an eternity of browsing, he stumbled upon a strange website. The layout was dated, like something out of the early 2000s, but the tagline caught his eye. Hyper-realistic skin suits for the ultimate transformation. What the hell is a skin suit? Jake thought, clicking the link out of curiosity. The page loaded slowly, revealing images of full-body suits that looked disturbingly lifelike. There were all sorts of options. Superheroes, monsters, historical figures. But what really caught his attention were the human skin suits. There were men and women, each suit meticulously detailed down to the texture of the skin and hair. These look freaky, Jake whispered to himself, scrolling through the options. The female skin suits were particularly striking. They looked so real, like someone had just peeled off a person's skin and made a costume out of it. The thought sent a chill down his spine, but at the same time, he couldn't look away. One suit in particular stood out. A slender, curvy woman with long, wavy blonde hair, sculpted features, a body that looked straight out of a fashion magazine. The description read, high quality female skin suit, perfect for pranks, parties, or exploring a new side of yourself, fully adjustable to fit any body size temporarily bonds to the wearer for up to 12 hours. Jake blinked. Temporarily bonds? He read the line again. Curiosity peaked. The idea was absurd, but it was also intriguing. What if he showed up to Tom's party as a woman? No one would recognize him. It would be hilarious. He could play the part. 
flirt with everyone. Not a single person would know it was him. Plus, it would be the last thing anyone expected from him. He could already imagine Tom's face when he won the costume contest. Could I really pull this off? He asked aloud, staring at the screen. He clicked on the suit to read more details. The site explained that the suits were made from some sort of high-tech material that would mold to the user's body, making it feel like a second skin. Once worn, the suit would adjust to every contour, even changing the wearer's height and build to match the suit's dimensions. After 12 hours, the suit would automatically deactivate, and the wearer could simply peel it off. No way, Jake muttered, rubbing his chin. The idea was crazy, but the more he thought about it, the more it made sense. It was unique. It would definitely win him the costume contest. It was the perfect way to throw everyone off. Plus, he'd get to see what it was like to walk around in someone else's skin for a night. Literally, what the hell, he said, clicking add to cart. It's just for one night. What's the worst that could happen? Three days later, the package arrived. Jake wasn't even sure what he expected, but when he opened the box, his heart skipped a beat. There it was, the female skin suit, folded neatly inside. The material was soft but firm, with an unsettling realism. The face was blank and expressionless, like a mannequin, but the body was flawless. Curves in all the right places, delicate hands, and even painted fingernails. Oh, man, this is wild, Jake whispered, running his fingers over the suit. It was heavy, almost like real skin. He could see every detail, the light freckles on the arms the delicate arch of the eyebrows, the smoothness of the skin. Whoever had made this had gone to extreme lengths to make it look as real as possible. Jake glanced at the clock. It was 4 p. Pam. Tom's party started at 7, but people wouldn't really show up until 8 or 9. He had time to try it on. He hesitated for a moment, looking at the suit. Is this really a good idea? He'd never done something this extreme before. But then again, that was the point. He wanted to stand out to surprise everyone. And, if he was being honest with himself, part of him was curious. What would it be like to be someone else for a night? With a deep breath, Jake started undressing. He tossed his clothes onto the bed, leaving him in nothing. He picked up the suit carefully feeling its weight in his hands, and sat down on the edge of the bed. Here goes nothing, he muttered, pulling the suit over his feet. It was tight, almost uncomfortably so, like putting on an extra layer of skin. As he pulled it up his calves and over his thighs, he could feel it clinging to him, adjusting to every inch of his body. It was a strange sensation, like the suit was alive, molding to fit him perfectly. When he pulled the suit up to his waist, he paused, taking a deep breath. His legs looked different, slimmer, smooth, smooth, and distinctly feminine. He stared at them for a moment, his mind racing. This is insane, but he couldn't stop now. He pulled the suit over his torso, sliding his arms into the slim, delicate sleeves. The sensation was even more surreal as the suit seemed to fuse with his skin. His arms looked smaller, softer, with long, elegant fingers at the ends. He flexed his hands, watching them move as if they were really his. Finally, finally, he lifted the mask over his head. The moment it slipped into place, he felt the suit tighten, like it was sealing itself to him. He stood up, wobbling slightly as he adjusted to the new weight distribution. His balance felt off, his center of gravity lower than before. He walked over to the mirror, heart pounding in his chest. When he looked at his reflection, his breath caught in his throat. Staring back at him was a woman, not just any woman, a gorgeous,
blonde bombshell, full lips, wide eyes, high cheekbones, and a body that could have stepped straight off a runway. Jake, or whoever this was now, stared in disbelief, running his hands over his new face, his new chest, his new hips. I, I look. His voice came out as a soft, breathy whisper completely different from his usual tone. He blinked, taking a step back from the mirror. The woman in the reflection did the same. There was no trace of Jake. The illusion was perfect. Oh my God, he whispered, a grin slowly spreading across his new face. This is going to be amazing.